Hey there, fellow feline enthusiasts! Do you ever find yourself puzzled by your cat's quirky and sometimes downright strange behavior? Well, you're not alone. In this video, we're going to explore the meaning behind 14 of the weirdest and wackiest things that cats do. From kneading to staring at walls, we're going to uncover the truth behind those baffling behaviors and hopefully give you a better understanding of your furry friend. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about the fascinating world of cat behavior. And who knows, maybe you'll even be able to decipher what your cat's trying to tell you the next time they bring you a hairball as a gift. Let's dive in. Number 1. Kneading Let's talk about one of the most adorable and slightly weird behaviors that our feline friends exhibit. Kneading You know what I'm talking about. The cute little paw-pushing motion that cats make often accompanied by purring and a blissful expression on their faces. So what is kneading all about? Well, there are a few different theories. One is that kneading is a leftover behavior from kittenhood, when kittens need their mother's belly to stimulate milk production. Another theory is that kneading is a way for cats to mark their territory, using the scent glands in their paws to leave their mark on a particular spot. But let's be real, we may never know the true reason behind kneading. All we know is that it's absolutely adorable to watch, and when they knead on our laps, it's a sign that they feel safe and happy with us. Have you ever caught your cat kneading on a soft blanket or pillow? That's a classic kneading spot. Some cats even knead on their owner's bellies or legs. Ouch! And let's not forget about those cats who knead on their toys or the floor. They're just expressing their joy in the most adorable way possible. Number 2. Chirping Have you ever heard your furry friend make a weird noise that sounds like a mix between a meow and a bird chirping? Well, fear not, because that sound is actually a completely normal behavior, called chirping. Although we can't be sure exactly what they're trying to communicate, it's believed that chirping is a sign of excitement or a way to get our attention. Some experts also suggest that it could be a way for cats to mimic the sounds of their prey, as a way of practicing their hunting skills. Some cats chirp when they see birds outside the window, while others chirp when they're playing with their toys or when they're about to pounce on something. It's also not uncommon for cats to chirp when they're greeting their owners or when they want food or attention. All in all, chirping is just one of the many adorable quirks that make our feline friends so lovable. Number 3. Headbutting Headbutting is when a cat bumps their head against a person or object. It's different from headbutting in humans, which is usually a form of aggression. For cats, headbutting is a sign of affection and trust. So if your cat ever headbutts you, congratulations! It means they love you and feel comfortable around you. Headbutting is also a form of communication for cats, like a nonverbal way of saying hello or goodbye. Number 4. Tail Twitching There are a few different reasons why a cat might twitch their tail. One of the most common reasons is that they're feeling agitated or anxious. This could be because of something in their environment or because they're feeling stressed out. On the other hand, if your cat is twitching their tail slowly and lazily, it could mean they're feeling relaxed and content. It's kind of like when you're lounging in your favorite chair and you start swinging your feet back and forth. Cats may also twitch their tails as a form of communication. For example, if your cat is feeling playful and wants to engage with you, they may start twitching their tail in anticipation of pouncing. Number 5. Licking and Grooming First off, licking and grooming are ways a cat keeps itself clean and healthy. It involves using their rough tongue to remove dirt, loose hair, and parasites from their fur, as well as promoting blood flow and distributing natural oils on their skin. But did you know that licking and grooming can also have other meanings for cats? For example, cats may lick and groom themselves to relieve stress or anxiety, or to establish social bonds with other cats. And if your cat is constantly licking you, it could be a sign of affection. Or maybe they just like the salty taste of your skin. Ugh. So when do cats typically lick and groom? Well, pretty much all the time. Cats are famously fastidious creatures and will spend hours each day grooming themselves. You may also notice cats grooming each other as a sign of affection or grooming their humans to show trust and affection. Number 6. Purring 
Purring in cats is about one of the most delightful sounds in the animal kingdom, and it has multiple meanings for our furry friends. For instance, cats may purr to communicate a variety of emotions, including contentment, relaxation, or even pain. Additionally, mother cats may purr to soothe and calm their kittens, while adult cats may purr to establish a sense of community with their human companions. Number 7. Meowing Meowing is a vocalization that cats use to communicate with us. They're humans. It can have different meanings such as greeting, asking for food or attention, or expressing discomfort or stress. For example, your cat might meow loudly and persistently when they're hungry or softly and sweetly when they want to cuddle. Cats can meow at any time of day or night, but some may be more talkative than others. Some cats meow when they're in heat, while others may meow more as they age. Number 8. Hiding Now, we all know cats are the masters of hiding. They can vanish into thin air faster than you can say meow. But what does hiding mean for cats? Well, it could mean a variety of things. Sometimes cats hide as a form of play. They'll hide and then pounce on unsuspecting victims, like your feet. Other times, they hide as a way to escape from a stressful or overwhelming situation like when the vacuum cleaner comes out. And of course, there's the classic, going to hide until you feed me tactic. Cats can hide in all sorts of places too, under the bed, in a box, behind the curtains, even in your laundry basket. They're like little ninjas, always ready to disappear at a moment's notice. But sometimes cats hide because they're not feeling well or they're in pain. So it is important to keep an eye on their hiding behavior and make sure they're still eating and using the litter box. Number 9. Bringing Gifts So what is bringing gifts? Well, it's when your furry pal brings you a little present, like a dead mouse or bird, and leaves it at your feet. Super sweet, right? Or is it? Possible meanings for this behavior range from a gesture of affection, aww, to a display of hunting prowess. Um, thanks for sharing? Some experts also believe that cats bring gifts to show their humans how to hunt, or to even teach us a lesson about poor hunting skills. Message received, Fluffy! As for example, well, let's just say that cats have brought some interesting gifts over the years. From live frogs to underwear, yes, really, these little hunters never fail to surprise us. And hey, at least they're trying to impress us, right? So next time your little kitty brings you a present, just remember to say thank you, even if you're secretly freaking out. After all, it's the thought that counts, or so they say. Number 10. Kicking Litter Let's talk about one of the most amusing things our feline friends do, kicking litter. You know that hilarious little dance they do after they finish doing their business in the litter box, but have you ever wondered what it means? Well, there are a few possible explanations for why cats kick litter. Firstly, it could simply be a way for them to cover up their mess. After all, cats are clean freaks and don't like leaving their waste exposed. Another reason could be that they're trying to mark their territory. Cats have scent glands on their paws, so by kicking the litter, they're leaving their scent behind and claiming the area as their own. But sometimes, cats kick litter just because they can. They're natural-born comedians and love to entertain us with their goofy antics. Number 11 rubbing against people or objects. Let's talk about something we've all probably experienced with our cats, rubbing against us or objects. Cats typically use their bodies to mark their territory by leaving their scent on things. It's like they're saying, this is mine, don't even think about touching it. But don't worry, they're not being possessive, it's just their natural instinct. But what are some possible meanings behind this behavior? Well, it could mean that they're showing affection, claiming you as their human, or even just trying to get your attention. It's also a way for them to communicate with other cats, like a secret handshake but with scent. Number 12. Staring This one has probably given you the creeps before. Staring. That's right, we're not just talking about when your cat stares at you while you're sleeping, but also when they stare at objects, walls, and even empty space. But fear not, friends, there's a method to their madness. So what is staring? It's when cats focus their gaze on something for an extended period of time. 
And what could that mean? Well, it could be that they're observing their surroundings, preparing to pounce on something, or even just zoning out. I mean, who hasn't done that before? But there are some mysterious explanations for staring as well. Some say that cats have the ability to see spirits and ghosts, which could explain why they sometimes stare off into nothingness. Or maybe they're just judging us. Like, why is this human eating cereal at 3 a.m.? Number 13. Eating Grass This weird behavior will make you wonder if your feline friend has gone all vegan on you. But don't worry, they're not giving up meat just yet. Still, why do cats eat grass? Well, some say that it's a natural way for them to get rid of hairballs or to help with digestion. Or maybe they just like the taste. I mean, have you ever tried a wheatgrass shot? Another theory is that cats may eat grass to fulfill their nutritional needs. After all, wild cats eat the stomach contents of their prey, which often includes vegetation. But who knows? Maybe they just want to be more like cows and graze all day. Number 14 playing with toys. Here, we're talking about something that brings us all joy. Cats playing with toys. Is there anything cuter than watching your furry friend bat around a toy like it's their prey? I don't think so. But why do cats play with toys? Well, there are a few different possible meanings. First, it's a way for them to release energy and exercise their hunting instincts. Second, it can be a stress reliever. Think of it like a feline stress ball. And third, it's just plain fun. Who doesn't love a game of fetch or chase? Playing with toys is an important part of a cat's life, and it's pretty darn cute to watch, too. And that's a wrap, folks. We've explored some of the weirdest and wackiest behaviors of our feline friends. Who knew that cats were so complex and mysterious? But as cat lovers, we wouldn't have it any other way. But before we sign off, make sure to check out this super interesting video. How Cats Apologize to Their Humans Yes, you heard that right. Even cats need to say sorry sometimes.